perfect, buddy. Hey everyone, welcome back. You know, the last couple of recipes I've done have been either on the pellet grill or the gas grill. Let's get back to my roots with cooking over charcoal. So today, I'm gonna do a stuffed pork belly, also known as porchetta, on my Blaze Kamado. Let's go. Okay, so I have our ingredients here for our stuffing. Using a medium to large size skillet on medium to high heat, toss in the bacon grease and begin to saute the green apples and red onions. Saute until it starts to brown. Then add the garlic and sage. Let that go for just another minute or two, then deglaze with the apple cider vinegar. Ah, a little more vinegar. Oh, it's smelling good. Set this aside to cool and begin prepping the pork. This slab has a side that's slightly thicker than the other side, so I'm gonna make a little flap here. This will help just a bit to hold the stuffing inside. Go ahead and score the meat side in this crisscross diagonal pattern. This will help the herbs and seasonings to reach deep into the meat. Now for the skin side. I'm gonna score this as well, but just in a vertical and horizontal pattern. Don't go too deep. You only want to penetrate the skin. This will help the skin to crisp and not be too tough. Also, it looks pretty cool once cooked. As you can see, I did go a bit deeper than I wanted to on some cuts, but that's okay. Flipping back over to the meat side, I'll go ahead and season with the fresh sage and salt and pepper. Now let's stuff this bad boy. I'll pack the stuffing on one side of the slab where I'll begin to roll. Just roll it up as tight as you can while trying to keep as much of the stuffing in as possible. Nice. Using some kitchen twine, tie the roll with several strings about an inch and a half apart. This will help the slab to stay rolled up. Oh man, I'm excited. Putting this in the fridge overnight uncovered helps the skin to dry out a bit. Let's see if my sous chef wants to help with this part. We're gonna take this oil and we're just gonna paint the skin of the pork on it. So go for it, buddy. Oh no. Time to get it on the grill. You heard him. Let's get the coals going. I'm preheating to 250 degrees, so I don't need a crazy amount of charcoal, just enough for about a four hour smoke. Once the coals are starting to ash over, toss in some wood chunks. I'm rolling with indirect cooking today, so I'll include my heat deflector for this. Okay, the grill has stabilized at 250. I like using a deep enough pan like this to hold my aromatics. I'll just throw in some of the extra apple, garlic, and sage, and a few cups of the apple cider vinegar. Found an orange laying around, so I'll include that too. Place the pork on a roasting rack, over the liquid pan, close the lid, and let it cruise. Check in about every hour just to make sure nothing's burning. Once the internal temperature reaches 160, this is when I like to crank up the heat to about 450 to get the skin popping and turning into cracklings. This should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Just don't go too far, you'll need to keep an eye on it. The skin is looking beautiful. Time to pull it and let it rest for about 15 minutes. Guys, it came out great. Uh, I'm anxious to try it. Let's let's give it a shot. Mm. 
perfect. The sweetness of the apple, man, with that pork. Oh, and it's so juicy from all that fat. One more bite. Oh, my kid. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell for notifications. I'm out.